we're going to sink to our level of training. We're never going to rise to an occasion. So um, I think our level of preparation is uh, where is where it needs to be. It's that preparation that's propelled the LSU Tiger gymnastics team to another national championship appearance this weekend. And with all the hard work in the gym done, head coach Jay Clark has used this week to make sure his team is in the correct headspace. In our Monday meeting, um, we wrote down um, a kind of list of like, I am blank. We, we're filling in those words to instill like confidence in ourselves. Like I am confident, I am dependable. Like that, you know, we as a team will attack and we will conquer. You know, I remember an interview with Joe Burrow where at the end of the, at the end of that season, somebody asked him, could you have imagined you know, did you see yourself doing this based on the first year you had at LSU, based on everything, and did you see it going this well, winning the Heisman Trophy, winning the national championship? And his answer was absolutely yes. This is exactly what I saw. And I think, you know, you reach a point where you have to absolutely believe you are the best. You have to know you're the best. You can't hope that you're the best. You can't desire to be the best. We've been saying that we don't have anything to lose going forward. Um, so I think, I think with that freedom, um, it allows us to just be able to go out there and compete to the best of our ability. I think the fact that this LSU Tiger team struggled so much during regional action has still found a way to scratch and claw themselves into position to fight for a national championship this weekend bodes well for this team. They're battle tested and they have the potential to bring home this program's first ever NCAA title in Fort Worth this weekend. But for now, in Baton Rouge, I'm Reggie Chapman, WBRZ Sports, to your home for LSU Sports.